my name is Walid. I'm from uh, Algeria, but I live at Montreal. And I think it's a bad idea because if you legalize uh, the drugs, people will smoke that drugs and take that drugs, and the problem will not will not be stopped. Uh, so it will uh, be inutile if you if we legalize uh, the drugs. So you're talking about Justin Trudeau's recent initiative to decriminalize all drugs across the board in Canada. You think that's a bad idea? Yeah. And you think because it's going to cause more drug use when drugs are made legal? Yes. So why is more drug use necessarily a bad thing if, if people are choosing to do drugs? Um, because uh, drugs uh, have a bad effect on our system, uh, our uh, body and all. And it has uh, a full uh, bad uh, effects uh, on our brain and it will just make shit on us so uh, no so you want to lock people in jail you want to use the government against them if they if they do something that's that's harmful to themselves no but i think the solution is in to legalize uh, the drugs well what does it mean for them to be illegal right in, in in how you want them to be illegal if someone does drugs in your ideal world, what, what happens to them? Uh, they will fall in the folly. I don't know. Uh. No, but legally, do you, when, when, if you were in charge, what would, what would happen to someone who uses drugs? Would they get locked in jail for, for a couple of years? No, if it's legal, he will not, but it will just uh, scratch his mind and his body. So. Uh, it's his problem, and as I, uh, as a, I, uh, I'm a human, I'll, sorry. Well, so what do you expect to happen to someone, though, if, if they do drugs when drugs are illegal? He will die because he... Uh, no, no, I mean from government, because lots of people do drugs and don't die. I mean, if, if anything, it's legal drugs in the pharmaceutical industry that kill people more. Okay. The government uh, will uh, make a lot of money, sure, but the price of that money will be uh, to have uh, many people who uh, take drugs. So, sorry. Uh, so you want to find people. You want to take their money. You want them to face a, a financial penalty, like a ticket, for doing drugs. Not me, but in case, uh, yeah. So you don't want to respect somebody else's right to decide what they put in their own body. You want the government to decide for the people what drugs are good and what drugs are bad. Uh, yeah, we can say that like that. So you don't want to think for yourself? You don't want to make those decisions for yourself? You want someone else to make those decisions for you and for the entirety of society? I think yes, but... Okay. It doesn't sound so good when you put it that way, right? Okay, uh, now uh, I don't know what to say. Uh. Yeah, okay, because I just want to examine your, your logic behind this, right? Because what you said about drugs is that they, they can be harmful, right? They can harm an individual. For me, drugs can be controlled. Right, but you could say the same thing about certain foods, right? Like that, that, hey, this food that's, that's high in fat content is bad for you, so we need government to step in and stop you from eating it. Well, well, what's the difference, right? I mean, if it's, if it's bad for you, what you're saying is that it's okay for government to intervene with, with force, because everything government does is backed up by force. When, when, when you get arrested for drugs, they put a gun to your head or they threaten you essentially and say, you know, we're going to take you physically, we're going to lock you up, we're going to put you in handcuffs and put you in a cage, put you in a jail cell. And, and if, you, if we find you, it means we're going to take your money, we're going to claim your money. We're using force. If you don't comply, the force of government will be used against you. And this is obviously inferior to peaceful solutions, to cooperative solutions that are based on, instead of a central authority making decisions for you, letting people make their own decisions. Wouldn't you rather live in a world where you get to decide what drugs you use rather than government saying some drugs are okay and some drugs are bad and if you use the ones that we don't like you go to jail or, or we fine you? 
No, but <laughs> I don't know uh, what to answer. <laughs> um, I'm just uh, 17, uh, so. Um, <laughs> So you're the future, so it's all the more important that we're talking to you that you understand this, right? I'm because the future where uh, people are in uh, in top ship, if we can say that, and no uh, smoke weed every day and more. I don't want that future, so... But, but that's you trying to control other people. You're saying, I want a future where other people do what I want them to do. See, I want a future where people are free to do what they want to do, and their rights are respected. I don't want to try to tell other people what to do. I don't want government telling other people what to do. But about the drug war specifically, what you said about decriminalization is just not in line with reality. In, in, in Portugal, they decriminalized all drugs and they saw all of the negative consequences associated with drug use go down as a result. That the consequence of the drug war is that people do drugs in secret and hiding and that leads to more problems and they, they are not able to seek treatment for addiction or for health problems related to drug use. So I, I hope you would reconsider, it looks like you're already reconsidering your position, but think that if we had a world where people's rights are respected and we get, you know, we have been convinced by government that we should all be better central planners, that we can have better policy to plan other people's lives. But the ultimate truth is that freedom is always better for people and an ethical society is better than one where you give government the authority to do unethical things like control your health decisions. Yes, that, that's true, but no. Okay. It's sure if we legalize uh, the drugs, uh, it will be... Uh, more interesting and it will uh, yeah yeah I think that's the solution we can make um. <laughs> thanks for being a good sport about being put on the spot today brother I appreciate it you. you have anything else you want to get the last word here Uh, do you know uh, where's uh, the park uh, I'm searching for? <laughs> because I'm lost. <laughs> no, but I can help you. Google Maps, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions including DTube, and you can find that through steamit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.